God bless you. You are amazing. You are created in God's image. And Jesus loves you. He loved you so much that he went to the cross. He despised the shame and was led as a lamb to the slaughter. And he died. And how? Because you are the joy that was set before him. And he takes delight in you. And he cares for you more than you could even humanly even imagine. He wants you to desire him, to desire him above all things. He wants you to put him above all things in your life. And he will create in you the perfect masterpiece that you are created to be. He has a great purpose and a plan for you. And he is predestined you for a time such as this. I mean, you were born for a time and this is, um, you know, how great is our God that he created you in his image for a purpose and a plan. And there is none like you. <laughs> you are unique and you are created perfect and special in your own way. Uh, we have our own, we, everybody has their own individual gifts and a calling and a purpose. And we're called according to his purpose. And so seek that, seek God's plans and God's purpose. And when you see his purpose and his plans, stay with it. Put your hand on the plow. Don't ever look back. Because he, such great things are found when you walk with him. I mean, it is so awesome. And I carry the cross for Jesus on the streets. And I, I can't even express to you um, the feeling that uh, I feel when there are broken people, when I am placed in front of um people that are addicted and broken and, and lost and um, they uh, don't know Jesus. They don't know of this great free treasure that we have that could make them brand new. And, um, and to see in, in one second, you know, the darkness leave and the great goodness of God, the seed of God, Jesus Christ, go right inside of them. I mean, there is nothing compared to that. To see the dead come back to life and to see the broken. And um, there have um, been people that, you know, have wanted to commit suicide and... Um, I'm taken back to a time when I prayed with this girl and she was going to jump off of a bridge and um, that night and um, she was able to receive the free gift of Jesus and Jesus totally just went in her, you know, the darkness left, went in her, transformed her. She lost a lot of weight. She started reading the word. Um, you know, she didn't commit suicide. Um, and it was like, and then she found a wonderful man. And um, I was blessed to give him vows on the beach in Daytona. And, um, you know, that is a picture of what God can do. He can take you know, the most lost, the most broken. If, if you are the most, like, destitute right now, if you feel like you can't even lift up your head one more time and you can't cry one more tear anymore, you are the best for Jesus to come into right now. In no time... Uh, there's no time for the better than now to invite Jesus into your heart and you get all of his attributes. You get all of his nature. You get all of his goodness and mercy and grace and all these things 
come inside of you and transforms you and makes you in to the created treasure that we are made to be in Jesus Christ. And the Lord wants me to read to you right now, chapter 22 in Revelation. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. And the, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare manner of fruits and yielded their fruit every month, and the leaves of the trees were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads, and there shall be no night there, and they no need, and no need uh, for a candle, neither light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true, and the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keeps the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. So when you receive Jesus, we have the river inside of us. The river of life. The river is Jesus Christ. And... We are set in heavenly places, and we partake of this river every day. You know, um, God is seeking for those who will diligently seek him in these last days. You know, this is the end time harvest. We need to get filled up. We need to get out. We need to um, tell everybody about Jesus and how um, loving, how he has loving kindness and how he can make all things new and how they don't have to live in depression, addiction, or any of these things because the river of life comes to them today. And that's what the Lord wants of us in this time right now. He says that we have to have our thoughts as his thoughts and we have to come in full assurance that God is who he says he is. He says that we have to have faith in God. If we don't have faith in God, it is impossible to please God. Okay, we have to have faith and we have to believe that he is every single thing that he says he is. And he is. You know, when he says that I am a good God, he is a good God. When he says, I'm the Lord that healeth you, he is the Lord that heals you, okay? I mean, he took all of the curses, all of the sickness on the cross, okay? There is no need for you to be suffering right now. Now, if there is anything that has come into your dwelling, first off, you need to make sure that you have Jesus in your heart, the power of the Holy Spirit. And then you have to tell it to go and it has to go. Nothing can stay, okay? <laughs> I mean, hello, the blood of Jesus cleanses you from all unrighteousness. The Lord wraps you in his robe of righteousness. And he says, take every thought captive. And he says that um, those who will be in perfect peace, whose minds are stayed upon me, he says. So we have to keep our minds fixed on God's. And come into full assurance that what he says is true. We have the river of life that flows inside of us. And this river is to be um, poured out onto all flesh when we walk out of the door. Um, because it is God's good pleasure to give everybody the kingdom. And he wants his sons and his daughters to come and to know him. And through love. And it, it, we have to have love. If, if we don't have the love of God, then we've missed it all. 
I mean, God is love. That's all that he is. He gives love. He is love. That's all that he is. So we have to come out with love. And, you know, it says, you know, we'll just go right here. I love the word. Um, you know, there, this word, I tell you, it has really, really done, um, done good. This is life. And if we don't get in, in the word, then we will not know who God is. Um, he, God is the word. <laughs> I mean, his vesture was dipped in blood and it was the word of God. I mean, this is the word. Everything that is unseen becomes seen because of the word of God. That is how pow powerful the word of God is. And, um, and he just wants me to let you know, it says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and I have not love, I have become a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal, you know? It's like you have to have love in order to um, show everybody this great gift and this treasure that is found in you. Do you know that you are one pearl of great price? And, um, you know, Jesus would leave all 99 just to come and get you today because that's how much he thinks about you. And you're his favorite. And, I mean, come on. He is awesome, and he takes delight in you. And it says that, for we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. So when the perfect is come, the perfect is the fullness and the 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 triune God, the, the, the perfect, the completion, um, of, of God, whatever, you know, he wants us as children to come into perfection. And it says right after that, it says, when I was a child, I spoke as a child and I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay. So when you become a man and you stay in the word and the statutes and you are diligently seeking the Lord, then that which is perfect is come. Then it's come unto you and you are able to edify everybody. You're able to give compassion. You're able to really, really show the love of God, which is shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And uh, we are to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. And, um, and we um, take comfort in the peace of God. You know, when, when you stay in his presence, it is the fullness of joy. And I have learned so much through, um, through the Lord. And, um, it is a powerful thing, uh, when you can just lift up your hands and say, Lord, do with me what you will. You know, we have a purpose and a plan and God has called us according to our purpose. And even though, you know, we have lived, our life didn't start when we were born. We lived before the foundations of the world were ever formed. And, um, you know, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Okay, God says. So even before the sands of time ever came, God knew us. And he knew that we were going to be living in this day right here and right now according to his purpose. And we have so much 
to be thankful for. We need to be thankful in all things, in all circumstances, wherever we are, through trials, through tribulations, through a de desert season, through anything that comes. Because it's like, you know, think about what Jesus has done. When you think about his sacrifice and what he did for us, it makes everything so small. And, um, you know, there's always somebody out there that has it worse than us. You know, there's always, um, you know, people suffering and it's just um, terrible. You know, God doesn't want us to suffer. He doesn't want uh, the darkness to take people over anymore. So go out today and tell everybody that they are greatly loved and get rid of the darkness out of people. And um, by getting them born again and filled with the Holy Spirit and give them a word, um, you know, word of knowledge and, um, and, you know, lay your hands on everything and heal them. It says, don't just pray for them, heal them, heal the sick cast out devils you know you'll tread on serpents and scorpions and nothing will ever hurt you <laughs> i mean come on we are indestructible okay because we are in the hands of the living god and um and jesus loves you read the word today god bless you